Volkswagen, maker of the Beetle automobile, expands its product offerings to include a microbus, which went into production in 1950. Known officially as the Volkswagen Type 2, the Beetle was the Type 1, or the transporter, the bus was a favorite mode of transportation for hippies in the U.S. during the 1960s and became an icon of the American counterculture movement. The VW bus was reportedly the brainchild of Dutch businessman Ben Pon, an importer of Beetles to the Netherlands, who saw a market for a small bus and in 1947 sketched out his concept. Volkswagen engineers further developed the idea and in March 1950, the vehicle, with its boxy, utilitarian shape and rear engine, went into production. The bus eventually collected a number of nicknames, including Combi, for combined use vehicle, and Split E, for its split windshield. In Germany it was known as Bulli, in the US. It was referred to by some as a hippie van a bus because it was used to transport groups of young people and their camping gear and other supplies to concerts and anti-war rallies. Some owners painted colorful murals on their buses and replaced the VW logo on the front with a peace symbol. According to Bug by Phil Patton, when Grateful Dead musician Jerry Garcia died in 1995, Volkswagen ran an ad featuring a drawing of the front of a bus with a tear streaming down it. The bus was only the second product offering for Volkswagen, a company whose history dates back to the 1930s Germany. In 1933, Adolf Hitler became Chancellor of Germany and announced he wanted to build new roads and affordable cars for the German people. At that time, Austrian-born engineer Ferdinand Porsche (1875–1951) was already working on creating a small car for the masses. Hitler and Porsche later met and the engineer was charged with designing the inexpensive, mass-produced Volkswagen, or people's car. In 1938, work began on the Volkswagen factory, located in present-day Wolfsburg, Germany. However, full-scale vehicle production didn't begin until after World War II. In the 1950s, the Volkswagen arrived in the U.S where the initial reception was tepid, due in part to the car's historic Nazi connection as well as its small size and unusual rounded shape, which later led to it being dubbed the Beetle. In 1959, the advertising agency Doyle Dane Bernback launched a groundbreaking campaign that promoted the car's diminutive size as a distinct advantage to consumers. And over the next several years VW became the top-selling auto import in the U.S. In 1972, the VW Beetle passed the iconic Ford Model T as the world's best-selling car, with over 15 million vehicles produced.